Um, so, uh, yeah. And even, even Fazboy. Actually, guys, spam up on the IRC channel. If you are listening into the live stream and you're actually on the own 3 d TV page, or you're actually at my website at onestop.net, the chat's on both. Um, jump in there. And uh, actually, yeah, just give us your thoughts about the picks as well. Because obviously, we would love to know what you guys actually think about all this. This is not just open for us. Obviously, the world of Dota is always under under the uh, microscope of who's going what picks. It's like you even saw a thread up at the moment saying, Axe is OP. It's like, mm -hmm. his armor his <coughs> armor buff is freaking awesome. But I, would, I wouldn't move him to the point of OP. Oh, yeah, I saw that one. <laughs> Like, look, yeah, okay. It's like, oh, hang on, I, I, I sense a bit of a troll, either that or a misunderstood soul. Uh, <laughs> it was one of, it's one of the two. We do actually have uh, GC Blast has actually gone up. What have we actually got? Ooh, there's, a, there's another one. We actually see Eyes match is actually up as well. So we've got two more matches uh, which have actually come to uh, light. So in, in versus Eyes International, and we do actually see um, GC versus Blast. So we have... Uh, Two of our quarterfinals, which are tonight. Guys, if you have actually just tuned in as well, you are here for the Gosu Gamers. Um, it is the qualifying round. There are four of them in total to actually get through for the Gosu Cup. Uh, of course, uh, sponsored by Rakat. Um, great to have those guys uh, backing in the Dota world. Um, but yes, it is. Uh, we are into the quarterfinals now. Uh, they had all their uh, matches beforehand on yesterday. Um, and now, quarterfinals, semifinals, and grand finals. We're staying up to actually cover them all live. Um, Obviously, live shoutcasting just so much more enjoyable than doing it off a replay. Don't, don't you think, Koost? Definitely, um, because it happens that if I have actually watched a replay and I get on a shoutcast review, it ruins it totally. Yeah. And whenever the replay is out, I just can't wait to watch it. So, you know, <laughs> I, to, I, I, I avoid them like the plague. I, I hate being surprised. As, oh, I love being surprised yeah, in yeah. the game, but I hate like going, you know, I kind of know what they're going to pick as the fifth one, but I don't want to talk about it because then that means I've actually watched it. Um, and uh, that, that just like rips at your insides kind of style. Yeah, and you kind of have to go off Skype and MSN and everything because everyone will be spoiling you out. People mm -hmm. like me and Sindrin, we, we love doing that to, to you, Toby. Yeah, th thanks for that. For thanks for that. I, <laughs> it, it's most appreciated. It was actually like um, when I logged on and uh, I wanted to do the, uh, actually I did do the replays. If you haven't checked them out, they're also on the Cyber Gamer mm -hmm. Network uh, YouTube channel. Check it out, guys. Oh. Um, okay. But I actually want to check out the, um, the Chinese, uh, the, game, the, the Game Masters uh, tournament, uh, eHome versus uh, Nirvana Cherry CN. And um, I didn't want to know anything about it. And the second I loaded up the Dota page, it was just like, hey, what the hell? Is that what I think? No, 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 no don't look and ignore, ignore, move on to the next site. Next no, topic. it's 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 probably not correct. It's, it's, it's false news. That's right. Go through, go through gamers leading me up the garden path. Oh, yep. no. <laughs> <laughs> um, people in the channel, yes, it is a best of one. It's only one match. I really actually want to see, like, even at all, of, all the matches, I actually want to wait for this one to come up right now. Um, just for the main fact that the picks, like, I'm really, really interested to see exactly how well this uh, Warlock push is actually going to come with, like, Shadow Fiend to back it all up. Everyone's going to have mana. The harassment, mm -hmm. I feel, is going to be absolutely horrendous from, uh, from Warlock. So, mm -hmm. actually, awesome, but horrendous for whoever's on the end of it. Um, obviously, because Warlock does actually have a pretty high base damage. I don't think it has really been nerfed. Um, and then you get the Shadow Word on top of it too. Plus that, with the mana regen you're going to get from uh, Crystal Maiden anywhere on the map, what do you need to be in the same lane? Um, mm -hmm. Then you're literally just going to get all this stack and all this harassment on there. If Spectre's in that lane, just pop Shadow Word on top of him every single second you've got. Uh, and, yep. and we'll be forced back. And, and then all of a sudden you're in a hell of a lot of trouble. So, uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. And that's a very good point pointed out by Black Panic in, in the chat channel. He's saying that it's kind of weird that Na'Vi actually banned Wish Doctor after they had the two supporters. Yeah, I personally thought that they would have gone for the Wish Doctor as their fourth pick. And the call is that the game is out. Yep, I see it on Walk TV. Na'Vi vs YG is rehosted. Awesome, that is absolutely fantastic. And uh, whoever just sent me the message that um, Cinderin doesn't ride Batrider, Batrider writes Cinderin and then put, gave me a link. I'm not going to look at that picture <laughs> until later. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we will actually. Oh, that's 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 gonna, yes. it's gonna hurt. All right, so uh, yep. refreshing my list up. Hopefully, it'll come up sometime soon because I don't see it just yet. Here we go, Navi versus YJ. All right, so we're gonna jump ourselves back into this game. 
So uh, there you go. It's a, it's a brand new load screen done by Kunker as always. He is our art man for the world of Dota. And it does say 6.7 OC. Uh, so you know exactly what version is actually coming your way tonight as we load ourselves back into the game. We will, of course, go to an all pick mode is how I'll actually roll this one out because obviously we went through our draft beforehand and uh, we'll recap that once we all catch up. And uh, actually, there's the sec. Thank you very much for doing that, boys. Uh, speed 4 as we just buff ourselves a little bit there. All right, so um, we'll actually have Navi. Um, Navi uh, will be playing for the Scourge side, and, uh, and that is under the house. Well, a couple of a couple of DTS players are in there at least. Um, and going over to the Sentinel side will be uh, YG. Um, those guys, a little bit unknown to us. Um, of course, people can check check out all their um, profiles as well. They're, uh, they will be available. Um, somewhere on some weird porn site, but it will be there. Um, their lineup, actually, let's bring it all up on the screen for you all right now, guys. All right, so uh, running ourselves through the Sentinel side, we have Dwarven Sniper, Earthshaker, SF, CM, as well as a surprise pick for the first time in a very, very long time. Warlock is actually going to come in. Um, hitting back, come, coming from Navi, uh, the last pick that actually came out was our Spectre Art Star, so we playing him tonight. Free winner playing under the hands of the uh, Weaver. Um, Windrunner, it will be Xbox. Um, I'm not saying his name wrong, but who cares? Lich will be in the lineup as well for all mods, and uh, Dendi will be playing our support as uh, well. Dendi, support, really? Yeah, ven <laughs> vengeful spirit. Mm. Well, then again, actually, mm. yeah, yeah, vengeful yeah. spirit being one of these heroes, which I say is support, but his timing is so critical that. Like, sometimes you actually think he's a mid-game carry. Um, especially, no for the amount of, especially for the amount of damage and the chain stuns he can actually mm. do across it. I'd almost class the fact that Vengeful Spirit isn't actually a support, a, a full, full support hero. He is actually more of an aggressor. The amount of times I've seen a, um, a Vengeful Spirit actually running with plus damage items on top of him, it's just like, it's actually been quite insane of late. It is, it is. And the fact that a, a single wrong swap could just end the game for you. Yeah. You need someone who really, really knows his shit that is playing the Vengeful Spirit. And I think Dendi definitely does. Oh, Den Dendi, you, you, you probably couldn't actually find a piece of paper long enough unless you went through the entire ream of toilet paper to actually list his experience <laughs> in Dota. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but we are, have, have had the Foghorn go off, by the way. And now the creep waves are moving out. The uh, mid wave will actually hit first. Weaver gets the uh, upside on the pool. Um, of course, the oh, DDing Shadow Fiend uh, did grab that rune, the zero minute rune up, up on the top lane. Uh, so it's going down. Actually, uh, free winner is actually getting a free farm in the middle lane. So he's going to be enjoying that one. Uh, with uh, Denks not actually wanting to actually get closer. He, he wants me to say Denks. He's got it as well. Uh, looks like Earthshake has been harassed a little bit up there on the top lane as well. Um, not quite sure how he got that low. Uh, it's actually probably because Dendai is currently mana regening himself up, so a magic missile must have been thrown at one point, and then harassment comes through as well. Dwarven Sniper, they're just trying to make a little bit of a uh, gap here. Lich, so there's your tri on the top. A vengeful, vengeful Spirit, Lich, as well as Spectra. Uh, so obviously Vengeful Spirit and Lich playing the babysit roles. Uh, the other babysit roles are coming out. Here's from the Earthshaker as well as the CM. The uh, Fissure actually locking off... Um, Support to come to that Lich who is just trying to hold onto the side there. In fact, that support can easily come through if a dagger gets thrown, which it did there by Spectra. And if we, if we go Magic Missile again, Frost Blast comes up. They might get the first blast on the CM on the top. They do as well. ES Fissure, though, should actually bring down Dendai. In fact, it is the Scatter Shop that gets the rest of it down. Earthshaker tries to get Lich as well. Lich finding herself slightly, actually, not blocked at all. Had, had the room to actually move. The Trenet made it a little bit harder. And uh, a pause actually does oh come out here at possibly the wrong time. Dwarven Sniper is looking to actually make this a 2-1. One up here on the top, and Lich is hiding on the fog of war on the other side of the tree, um, and everyone's just like, "What the hey?" Um, but it is one apiece, and we have seen both of those kills up there on the top. But first blood does go to the scourge; it does actually go to Navi. Yeah, but um, if if you realize, Toby, if the Dwarven Sniper actually stopped moving around and looking so lost, and decided to hit the Lich instead, he would have died when that. Fisher blocked off the Lich. Mm -hmm. For the moment, the Dwarven Sniper was standing around. He didn't really know what he was doing. He was hitting the Lich once, and then he went back to hit the Spectre, and then he went back to hit the Lich again. But if he just went and focused fire the Lich all the way, the Lich would have went down. It is, it is yeah, quite... That was what I noticed. It, it is quite possible, because we are here up in the armchairs too, guys. So, um, obviously... Will you guys stop pinging the freaking map? Um, but, yeah, we, we, we do try not to judge what the players do. Of course, it is great for us to be up here and say, you know what, I would have so done that differently. Um, <laughs> obviously, I wouldn't have done that differently, because I can't micro like that. I'll be like saying, yeah, I can farm more than AAA. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. that's, that's never going to happen. Um, still the pause up, so um, we'll actually get a speed four, see if we can actually catch up to anything... Which has actually gone okay. through. 
Um, and there goes the speed no. bank. Don't, don't, don't unpause. One AFK. The call comes out from Morvik. <laughs> so uh, he is uh, currently on a hentai break. Shouldn't be long before he gets himself back. Shouldn't be long. <laughs> Shouldn't be long. 30 seconds. Uh, best time of his life. Um, <laughs> gotta love it. Gotta absolutely love it. Actually, then again, uh, do, do Europeans watch anime as much? <laughs> That's a question you have to ask the Europeans. Yeah. Wow. Asians, what a what Asians a ping. Do. Wow. Holy shit. All right. The 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 call to go is good. Um, no problem. Go is is a smiling face. Cool. Yeah, we'll go for that one. It's, it's, it's only nine hundred. That's play, man. It's over nine hundred. Um, yeah. latency nine hundred. Who actually puts that one up? Yeah. Anyway, so it looks like the host spot is actually spiking a hell of a lot, so these guys will have to work themselves through. There's not a lot we can actually speak about it, but apart from the fact that um, it looks like Navi is up on the CS scores uh, for three of the heroes at least, five, one, four, three, four, three. Uh, zero and zero on VS and Lich, but that is obviously not their jobs to farm. Even though Lich yep, actually, no. it's interesting to actually know too, Lich got the last hit um, for the first blood. Which, for, for me, is actually not a bad thing. I actually enjoy the, the uh, money being on the support very early on. Um, yeah. But just for the fact that the assist point went to Art Style, and he's actually probably the one which needs the money. We talked before the game actually started just how freaking farm-dependent Spectra actually is. And uh, yes. to miss out on that extra 200 gold at the start is going to be like, come on, guys. Yeah, but, but um, he couldn't reach the... Who, whoever was that, uh, he couldn't reach the Crystal Maiden because the Fisher actually blocked him off, so Leech and VS had to do the physical hits to, to get him down, and well, at least they got the first blood and they can get the, they can get the crow up and maybe a set of wards again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that, they, that they can, and uh, one of these is still where we sit as uh, we go through mapping. Wow, wasn't this a really great choice of a, of a match to actually watch? And completely no flaws whatsoever um, trying to get this game out at the moment. Um, but yes, we will be getting ourselves into the game once they actually work out why they're picking 800, which, guys, is really unplayable. Like, you need to have a ping of 110 or lower. Um, Especially at this level of Dota to play. I've seen um, like the LGDAU boys, just because they're in Australia, 